Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Drevlin and this is my quest log. And it's boss time! So yeah, we went through the catacombs of Carthus last time, so now it's time to deal with the boss of that area. We found two bonfires down there. This abandoned tomb is to a optional area, which we will tackle the next time. But before that, let's deal with the boss, so simply go to the Catacombs of Carthus. And you'll be right next to the sec second rolling ball of skeletons. Whew. This boss isn't really too difficult. It can mess you up if you're unlucky, but most people tend to see it like one of the easiest boss in the game. So yeah, just wait for the ball, like before, run halfway down the stairs and turn around to trigger those rats. Make your life a bit easier. And ooh, he dropped something for us. It's all about the deserted corpse. And now we can take the path where Night Slayer Zorig invaded us. The gate is open. The skeletons will respawn. Let's actually kill these first two. And now we can just run across the bridge. The skeletons will get up behind us. So strike the bridge to make our life a little bit easier. So yeah, up here in this room we have a goblet of a skull that we will be touching to trigger the boss but before that let's go over some of the boss's stats or weaknesses and resistance so yeah it's weak to blessed weapons and there's really no way that I know that you can see if a weapon is blessed or not but I know the wiki actually had some examples like Farron Greatsword, Wolf Knight's Greatsword and Andre's Straight Sword. So those are three weapons that are actually really good against this boss. The Andre's Straight Sword is actually the weapon I'm going for, but I'm gonna get it through like that quest line simply. He is resistant to dark. So if you've been using that deep infused battle axe since the beginning of the game, now might not be the best time to use it. Also, the boss deals dark damage like sometimes I think, so just for the heck of it, let's equip that crest shield that we found earlier with d higher dark resistance. The boss is immune to bleed, frost and poison and toxic. There's no summon for this one, so you're on your own. It's a big one, and we'll see if I had time to... Actually, I'm going to go through it right now before, since if I don't have time during the battle. Uh, it's a big one, and you will be striking like on its hands. It has bracelets. On its right hand, it has one bracelet. On the left hand, it has two bracelets. Your goal is to break all three of them. And we will be going for the, like, his right hand first, the one with the single bracelet, because it's more difficult to reaching that one. The more bracelets we break, there is a chance of the boss spawning other, like, normal skeleton enemies. And the more bracelets we broke in, the more skeletons, or more dangerous skeletons, will actually spawn when he does that. The boss is covered in a dark miasma that you cannot like escape if you get trapped in it and you will start taking massive damage so as soon as you realize that you're taking damage from the miasma you should just try to outrun it but sometimes the boss charges forward and you might get stuck in it so we will try to avoid that
pretty cool cutscene. And as you can see, an item right, af right in front of us. And you can pick that up right away, that will trigger the boss, or you can sneak forward and actually start attacking the boss in the darkness. Which is what we will be doing. The item, in case you fail to pick it up during this battle, it will actually be spawned outside in the room that we were just in. So I'm gonna show that instead so you know where to locate it in case you miss it. So yeah, in the darkness we can actually see one of the hands, that's the left hand of him with the two bracelets. And here we have the right one. And I completely missed. Hi Lord Volner. So yeah, that's the miasma, and as you can see, he keeps pushing his right hand into that, so... Oh, here comes the miasma! As you can see, massive damage. Ow, did not see that one. This is off to a great start. Please. Stop the... There we go. As you can see, once you break the bracelet, massive damage. It's dangerous to go for that hand when it's so far back because all of a sudden he might just... Ow, oh, too early. He might just charge forward, and then you will be stuck in the miasma. Come on. Break, dang it. There we go, and we can heal up. And he gets pushed backwards every time you break one of the bracelets which is like to counter this as he charges forward oh what's he doing okay miasma time run 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 okay just one hit that's good here he comes again let's try to break this one there we go and down he goes as you can see, pretty easy, but we were lucky he didn't spawn any skeletons. As soon as he does that, that can be a bit of a trouble. Because suddenly you're juggling like multiple skeletons, him charging forward with the miasma. Uh, yeah, especially if he only has one bracelet left, he will actually spawn those big skeletons with like great swords. It's not fun, trust me. And there we have it. The door opens. And this is actually the correct path to walk if you want to complete the story of the game. But we don't want to do that since we want all the loot in the optional area as well. There's some great loot down there. So yeah, soul of High Lord Volnir, thank you. We have a bonfire that we can light. But before we travel back to Firelink, up here, I believe. Oh wait, do I need to? Maybe I need to re, you know, reload the area, I believe. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, let's do that then. Let's reload it. Yeah, there we go. Once you travel back and forth, the item from the boss room will be up here in the left corner. And it's the Grey Warden Pyromancy Tome. And you might be thinking, yay, more pyromancies! But sadly, not yet. I will actually show you what will happen if we try to give this to... what's his name? Cor Cortex? Can't remember his name for the life of me right now. 
Cornix. That's it. Doop, 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 doop. Ah, there you are. I am. <laughs> so, yeah, let's try to give him the tome. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. So yeah, which means that we will find a NPC <laughs> later on in the game that can actually take on that tome and teach us some dark spells. Now before we quit, let's have a little chat with Yuria actually. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Our lord and liege. Knowest thou of a youth named Amri? He is hollow and will join thee in wedlock. A fellow of mine guides him at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what lord taketh no spouse? So yeah. Till we meet again. Henri, the fellow May that the dark is traveling with Horus, or now lost Horus, down in the catacombs. Apparently we are supposed to marry him? So yeah. Okay then. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this episode. And next time we will be going into the optional area of the game. And I'm not looking forward to that because I hate that place. I really do. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But until then, take care and happy gaming. Bye-bye.